Hi guys, Paul here at Radio Shop Pickups in the UK. And in this video, I'm gonna answer a question which I get asked a lot by our customers, which is, what shall I do with the stock pickups once I've upgraded my guitar to say your pickups or even anybody's pickups at all, okay? What shall I do with the stock pickups? I'm gonna to point to this guitar a fair bit. This is my personal guitar. It's an Eastman T386, okay? It's a 335 style guitar. And as soon as I bought this guitar, I actually took out the stock pickups, okay? And put our pickups in, you know, as a pickup maker, Obviously, nothing really is gonna end up keeping its original pickups unless it was something really, really vintage and it had that sort of historical value, okay? So whenever I go into a guitar shop, they, they go, oh, do you wanna try out the guitar? Yeah, do you wanna plug it in? I'm like, no, there's no need to plug it in. Because obviously, you know, it's kind of like the, my raison d'etre to get rid of the pickups and put ours in. So I put ours in here, and then I've got this quandary, which is what do I do with those stock pickups, okay? Because they've obviously got a monetary value, okay? During this video, I'll use pounds, okay? But I'll flash things up in US dollars and also in euros as well, okay? But I'll say pounds, and obviously, colloquially, I might even slip and say like 50 quid, which means 50 pounds, okay? So quid is not a word that some of you in the US, perhaps, or in Europe will be aware of, but I'll use that a little bit too. Okay, so let's say I put our pickups in, and now I've got those stock ones, and I'm thinking, hmm, they could be worth about 80 pounds. And I'm thinking, because, you know, gas sufferers, we do this, we think about upgrading stuff all the time. I'm thinking Bigsby on this, okay? I know a Bigsby's going to be, you know, cost about 180 pound for a US one, you know, if I'm lucky, you know, because they're, they're really good, lovely pieces of kit at Bigsby. And I'm thinking, if I sell those stock pickups, I get 80 quid for those, then I can put that towards the new thing of Bigsby. Or there could be any other sort of, there's a myriad of things that us guitarists are looking to improve all the time. New bridge. Um, you could, I don't know, maybe you've just bought an amplifier and you're thinking new speaker for that, okay? So we look at the stock pickups and we think, hmm, they are sort of eBay or Gumtree fodder really, aren't they? Let's put it on there, get something for them, it'll fund the next project. And I suppose part of the sentiment that feeds us is that when we get a new guitar, we often in a sort of honeymoon period, I don't know if it lasts two weeks, four, you know, four weeks or two months, whatever, we quite often, because we're subscribed into how much we spent on the guitar, or maybe like emotionally subscribed into the process of getting a new guitar, we're quite often in this honeymoon period where we're like, you know, and these are the dangerous words, you know, which are things like, oh my God, it's the best guitar I've ever played. Like how many wives, husbands, partners, girlfriends have heard us say this, you know, like, um, it's the best guitar I've ever played. I'm never getting rid of it. Now, this is like the kiss of death, isn't it? These words, I'm never getting rid of it. Because it basically, that it, for fate, if there's such a thing, that's kind of like, just basically, the ball is rolling. It's ticking already. The time between you and getting rid of the guitar has already started to tick away because those fateful words just mean that we're going to uh, shift it on at some point, okay? Might be wrong, might end up keeping the guitar, might be the best thing you've ever played, okay? But even the best thing we've ever played, we've sometimes shifted on in a moment of madness, usually to fund another guitar that we're looking to buy, okay? So, you know, inevitably, a guitar that we buy, you know, quite often we fall out of love with, and then we've got to sell it, okay? And we've got this problem now because we've put new pickups in there, okay, which, ha which cost us X amount of money. And because if we sell those stock pickups, we can't put the stock pickups back in. We've got to now sell the guitar with its upgraded pickups, okay? And the way this works out, I'm gonna illustrate this with like, let's say a Mexican Strat, okay? Um, in the UK, you might be able to pick up a Mexican Strat for say second hand, say 300 pounds, okay? And you buy a Mexican Strat, you do it up with some lovely pickups, you know, it might go for hours. Let's say you spend 200 pounds on your new pickups doing up your Mexican Strat. And now you think, well, okay, total price that I've paid is 500 pounds because I spent 300 pounds on the guitar and I spent 200 pounds um, putting the pickups in, so the whole value, and this is where we tend to go wrong, we add the value of the upgrades to the value of the guitar, and we think that that follows, okay? Now, some people will give me a boost for this, okay, but this is a mistake, really, because adding the value of the upgrades doesn't follow, really, because that doesn't mean that you're going to get that when selling the guitar. So you spent £300 on the guitar, 
200 pound on the pickups you go on something like ebay um gumtree whatever whatever you go on to sell it on and you think right i want 500 pounds for it that's what i spent for it okay and it just never works out this way okay um you might end up selling the guitar for say something like 380 which is such a shame then because you spent 200 pound on those pickups you think that that's added 200 pounds worth of value and maybe it should okay but it just when it comes to sell it people won't um, add that in their mind to the value of the guitar and that's my advice really is try not to think in those terms okay um you might sell the guitar for three 380 which effectively means you got 80 pounds for your 200 pound pickups okay um it's a bit like if you think about it imagine you had a car that was coming towards the end of its life you know it didn't have much value on it you might have picked up a car say for 500 pounds okay and if you're into upgrading cars i'm not personally but if you were into upgrading cars then you might think right i'll put a lovely new set of alloy wheels on there for 700 pounds okay so you get four wheels for 700 pounds you add them to your car which is worth 500 and you now in your mind you know you want to come and sell the car you know, a few months later and you think car's worth 1200 pounds and most of us will make that connection now i'm not going to pay 1200 pounds yeah it's got nice new wheels you know i don't really care you know the car is worth what it's worth you know if you can put a new stereo in there isn't really going to add the value of the stereo in there so try and come away from thinking in terms of adding the value of the upgrade to the value of the car in that point or instrument in this case okay you know in the car case you basically just take keep the original wheels put them back on now you can sell the wheels you might get a real good portion of that 700 pounds back okay and the car is back to being worth 500 pounds okay but maybe those wheels might have added 50 pounds worth of value to the car okay you're not going to get back to what you spent there and the same with the max strat okay you've spent 500 in total but by you know when you come to sell you nobody's going to want to give you 500 pounds for it okay even though it has got amazing pickups in there now they're going to want to give you say a bit more than the 300 pound it was originally worth okay and that is a shame then isn't it because you've got these pickups which you are going to put out um for you know next to no value really okay the best thing to do is is to keep the stock pickups put them back in and now your max strat let's say is worth 300 pounds again and you've got the pickups to bring over to the new project okay because you might be buying i don't know let's say a better strat okay and you've got those pickups to bring over right and you're getting a better deal for the, the the pickup price that you put out originally or maybe you're funding a totally different guitar and you don't need the set of strat pickups that you had in the max okay so you want to put those out for sale you're now going to get a far better price for those 200 pick, pound pickups when sold separately okay because somebody might give you i don't know let's say 150 pounds for them and you're just getting a better deal so really that's my thoughts okay i i gotta be honest i've been known to sell stock pickups you know i know been known to break my own advice okay you know don't we all break our own advice from time to time okay so even i sometimes have sold the stock pickups especially in that moment where i'm thinking never getting rid of this guitar you know and that's a dangerous moment isn't it okay because if it's so you know even a guitar i love you end up getting rid of sometimes in a moment of madness right so it's we've all been there okay so that's my advice keep your stock pickups put them in a drawer somewhere and put them back in okay and it just makes everything just a lot a lot easier and you also keep the value on your upgrade pickups a lot better okay Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for watching the video. Um, I'm going to do a video soon called what's my part caster worth. Okay. And that could be a little controversial as well. Um, because I'm going to give my opinion on what your parts caster is worth. If you enjoy these videos, hit subscribe and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.